Is there any new construction in Sanford, Florida at all? Yes, there is. And today, I'm going to be providing a brief overview of just a few of the new home construction communities in Sanford. Now, these aren't listed in any particular order, so be sure to stick around till the end when I'll be providing some detailed information on what I believe is the premier new construction community here in Sanford. As we look at new construction, it's important to note that there are options scattered all around Sanford that are not in HOA communities, many of which are located on the east side of Sanford. But today, we're going to be just focusing on a few specific communities with larger builders. There are also several townhome communities being built as well in this area. We've discussed making a separate video on these, but we're going to see how that plays out. First, let's start with the communities that D.R. Horton is building. Now, D.R. Horton has been building in this area for a while and has developed many different communities in Sanford. As a general statement, I would say that D.R. Horton offers the most affordable options, but they don't often allow much in the way of upgrades or customization. It seems like what you see is what you get with D.R. Horton, at least with the new home construction options at this time in this area. They typically offer quite a few homes that are ready to move in, as well as homes that you can build from the ground up. Concord is located on the southeast side of Sanford, right off of Lake Mary Boulevard, just a few minutes from Sanford International Airport. Now, personally, I love the sound of airplanes flying overhead, and I always have. But if that's not your thing, then some of these neighborhoods might not be for you due to that noise. That's also why you're not seeing much in the way of drone footage for many of these neighborhoods. It's also one reason why I'm calling another neighborhood the premier new construction community in Sanford that I'll be speaking of later. When finished, Concord is going to be a large community of around 420 homes. The HOA in here is only 70 bucks a month, which gets you a resort-style pool, it gets you a cabana, and a playground. Home prices in here start in the low 400s, and they go up to the mid-fives. Now, this may be my favorite new construction D.R. Horton community in this area, primarily due to the location and being closer to Lake Mary and the 417. East Grove is another community that D.R. Horton has been working on. Now, this little community is on the east side of Sanford, just north of the Sanford Airport. East Grove is pretty similar to Concord as it offers similar floor plans and pricing. The HOA is $94 a month, and that gets you a gated entrance, it gets you a pool and a cabana, and a little playground. This community will have about 211 homes when finished, and they're currently building the last 41 homes as I record this today. Before we move on to the newest D.R. Horton community, show your support for the efforts of this channel by hitting the like and the subscribe buttons down below. Then, if you'd like to be notified whenever I post other videos just like this, hit that little notification bell. The newest of the D.R. Horton communities in this area is the Cove at Riverbend. Now, they just started breaking ground here, so there's plenty of time to get in early and secure a prime lot once they're released. Now, I'm assuming that they're going to be offering similar home options to these other communities, but the pricing hasn't been released yet. This community is only going to have about 38 homes and will not offer amenities like the other communities, but hopefully this will mean that the HOA will be lower too. This is the easternmost new construction to your Horton community in Sanford, which gives you a more rural feel. Yes, you are further away from I-4, but you are close to the 415, which also runs to the beaches and Orlando. Even though this area might feel like it's far out there for some, this area is also being built up quite a bit. They're currently building a public shopping center pretty close by, so I suspect there's quite a bit more growth coming too. All right, enough of D.R. Horton. Since we've been talking about the communities in eastern Sanford, let's talk about Riverside Oaks by Toll Brothers, which is what I believe is a good bit nicer than anything we've spoken about thus far. When finished, there are going to be a total of 125 homes in here, and they have about 24 more homes to be built as I record today. The Homeowners Association fee is $142 a month with gated access, it's got a pool, a cabana, and best of all, your very own private boat ramp to the St. John's River. Now, it's important to note that as of today, this boat ramp is just that. It's a boat ramp. It doesn't go anywhere except for like a little drainage ditch. So they've still got to dredge it out. But once it's done, access to St. John's River could be a huge benefit for the Riverside Oaks residents. Now, the price ranges in here aren't as black and white. There are builder plans to start in the 500s, but once you add on your lot premium and your upgrades, you can make your home as nice as you want with all those bells and whistles. Their floor plans range from around 2,000 square feet to up around 3,100 square feet. As I gathered my information for this video, they had just two available move-in ready homes, while the rest are waiting for a buyer to customize and make their own. MI Homes is building Cadence Park, which is down on the south end of Sanford. Now, this community will eventually be made up of 183 homes, with about half already being finished and sold. The inventory homes start at around 700 grand, but if you choose to build from the start, the base prices start in the 500s. 
There are seven different floor plans to choose from, and they range from around 2,000 square feet to almost 4,000 square feet. The HOA of only 98 bucks a month gets you a gated entrance, a playground, and reclaimed water for irrigation. Now, before I get to what I consider to be the premier new construction community here in Sanford, it's important to note that many of these builders work with lenders that can potentially offer really good packages, and these packages can have a huge impact on the overall cost of your home. Some of these packages include lower interest rates, and even some come with a good bit of what we call flex cash to use just about any way that you want in the process. We typically encourage our buyers to compare a conventional lender to the builder's lender. While the builder's lenders often do bring all sorts of headaches, the headaches are sometimes worth the payoff. This entire process can be very stressful and scary, but this is what we do every single day, and having a local licensed realtor helping you costs you absolutely nothing. So simply give us a call before you take a step into any of these communities, and we can be your guide throughout the process of building a brand new home. Conestoga Park is one of my favorite communities being built in all of Sanford, primarily due to location. The northwest side of Sanford is pretty much built up with beautiful homes, and this community is one of the final pieces of property in this general area to be developed. Now, it's only two miles from I-4, and it's right close to shopping. There's restaurants close by, and there's some big employers, too, like Deloitte and Verizon. However, about 70% of these home sites have no rear neighbors, giving privacy that is really hard to come by with any new construction these days. This boutique-type community has just 30 home sites, and a few are still available. They've got seven floor plans to choose from, with prices ranging from 600 for about 2,300 square feet up to the 800s for almost 5,000 square feet. Now, there isn't much in the way of amenities in here, but the HOA is 300 bucks a month. I suspect that 300 bucks is for the gate and a great location. It's important to note that many builders have been hard at work in here in Sanford over the last few years. It's also important to note that this is not a comprehensive list of all the new construction and that some of these homes could sell out very quickly. If you have any questions about any other community, simply give us a call or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.